Hello everyone. In our previous modules, we have learnt that elements may be classified as metals, metalloids and non-metals. We have also learnt about the characteristic properties of metals. But there are some exceptions. While learning about metals, did you ever think about what are non-metals? Non-metals generally have properties that are opposite to metals. Thus, they are called non-metals, meaning which is not a metal. Though non-metals are lesser in number as compared to the metals, they play a very important role in our lives. Let us see how. Carbon is one of the most important non-metals. Life on the earth is solely based on carbon and its compounds like carbohydrates, proteins, fats, etc. Can you try and name a few other non-metals? Some more non-metals are oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, etc. Non-metals are more abundant on earth. Oxygen is the most abundantly available element on the earth's crust. Let us now learn about the important physical properties of non-metals. For this, first collect samples of a few non-metals like sulfur, iodine, phosphorus and carbon which is present in the form of charcoal or graphite. Look at their surfaces carefully. They all have dull surfaces except for iodine which has a lustrous surface just like metals. Non-metals occur in nature in a variety of colors. Sulfur is yellow. Phosphorus is either white or red. Graphite is grayish black. And chlorine is a yellowish green colored gas. Non-metals are brittle. Brittleness is the property of a substance that allows it to break into small pieces when hammered or beaten. This means that non-metals are neither malleable nor ductile. They cannot be beaten into thin sheets and they cannot be drawn into wires as they easily snap on being stretched. All non-metals are either solids or gases except bromine which is a liquid at room temperature. Most non-metals are soft and can easily be cut with the help of a knife. Non-metals are bad conductors or insulators of heat and electricity. This means they do not allow heat or electricity to pass through them. However, Talking of exceptions, diamond is a good conductor of heat while graphite is a good conductor of electricity. Non-metals are not very strong unlike metals. They have low tensile strength. This means that they cannot hold large weights. Let us take an example of a graphite sheet. If a heavy object is placed on a graphite sheet, it breaks. Non-metals have low melting and boiling points except for again diamond and graphite which have very high melting and boiling points. Non-metals have a low density. The density of Gaseous non-metals is extremely low. However, here too, iodine is an exception and it has high density. 
non metals are not sonorous that is they do not make a shrill ringing sound when struck let us now quickly recall what we have learned in this module non metals have properties opposite to that of metals non metals are lesser in number as compared to metals a non metal is an element that is neither malleable nor ductile and does not conduct electricity all the non metals are either solids or gases non metals are not very strong they have low tensile strength non metals have low boiling and melting points non metals are brittle non metals are not sonorous non metals occur in nature in a variety of colors so this was all about the physical properties of non metals